Hello, my name is Gio Rochinio. Today I'd like to tell you about clone computers. First, I'll start off with hardware. For hardware, we have the Clone 1. Uh, clone 1 has a 1.8 GHz Intel Atom dual core. Um, it also has a 500 GB hard drive. We use 3 GB SATA for this hard drive, being that you cannot access data off of a spinning disk hard drive faster than 3 GB. Also, Clone 1 is only $329, which is very affordable for a desktop computer. Now I'd like to tell you about Clone OS. Clone OS is a Debian-based Linux operating system. Being that it's Linux, it's free and open source, so you may do whatever you please with our software. The same goes for all of our applications. Clone OS is a lightweight operating system. What I mean by light, light is small. And for operating systems, the smaller, the faster, and, and the less RAM you use. For example, we got rid of the mail client, because the same thing can be done with the browser. Why have, it, why have your mail client sitting in the background, taking up RAM and taking up hard drive space? This is the problem with many modern operating systems. Now that we have a fa this fast operating system, it will run very fast on hardware that has slower clock speed, such as the Clone 1. I think the best way to show you this is by a demo. This is Clone OS. Clone OS uses the GNOME 3 graphic user interface. In my opinion, it is very elegant and very easily modified. On Clone OS, we have all of the software that you will need. Also, Clone OS is programmer ready, meaning it has all the compilers that you'll need for languages like C++, C, Java, and Python. We also have Wine installed in Clone OS. The reason we have Wine installed as default is because we think that you should be able to run Windows apps and Linux apps side by side. Also, Wine comes in handy a lot. One of the applications we've built ourselves is called SCOS, or Simple Calculator OS. It is a terminal-based calculator that you can add, subtract, divide, multiply, do percentages, exponents, and also, soon to be added, you can do function-based things. So, if you remember from your algebra course, y equals, you can do that. 